this it? What do you mean, is this it, man? Oi, phone face. Yeah. Waiting on a message from lover boy, innit? So, Aggie. No, this isn't Aggie. This is Aggie. Oh, now, guys, can you not just get on for like five seconds? I mean, like, you scared a wound for crying out loud. Yeah, and he was a loser even then. This isn't the birthday surprise you mentioned, is it? No. And do you guys remember what my very first words to you were? Can't remember? No. I said, I am going to be smiling for the rest of my life. This is actually a really nice picture of Mum. Me and... Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Lol. Let's see. You know, she'd have been so very proud of you. Both of you. What's this? Ah, uh, now that, that's like a... Can you remember, like, a, are these umbilical cord clips? What, why? Why right. would you keep that? Memory. Don't you dare. That's heavy. <laughs> Just follow me. Is this the actual surprise? Is it a moped? Is it a moped each? Because no way I'm sharing with her. Shh! Follow me. Ta-da! <laughs> what, nothing? There's literally nothing different that you have noticed on this street. I'm cold. I'm not noticing a moped. Because there is no moped, Adi. No, guys, look! Look! I have changed the name of the shop to, like, your initials. Can you not at least act a little pleased? Asha? Yeah, Asha, you're going to whiff the quiff in literally an hour. Are you not capable of thinking about anything else? Yeah, well, it's not my fault I have a loving boyfriend. I mean, for you, it'll take at least another 16 years for anyone. Good time out. Much. I put such a lot of thought and effort into this, and I don't think that either you're really appreciating exactly what this means. Yes, to you. Dad, um, I seriously couldn't think of anything worse than to be publicly associated with one of your businesses. Stay away from me today. <laughs> Can I get that for Christmas? Get inside. Happy birthday! Is that a birthday? Tis alas too clear. Tis but the funeral of the former year. <laughs> to Mrs. M.B. on her birthday. To Ashy, you mean? No, no, no. It's a, it's a poem. Alexander Pope. Yeah, uh, thanks. You're very welcome. Right, well then, now I have an antibacterial dispenser to attend to with the gents. So. Many happy returns. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you really don't have to do this. You've already got in my choker. I know I didn't, but I wanted to. Looks dead good on you, by the way. Yeah, it's my favourite present. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Your dad didn't get you a nice surprise? Unless you count a shop sign. Eh? It's an epically long and boring story. I'm, I'm just really glad that I've got good mates like you. Mm, ditto. <laughs> what can I get you? Something to boost the energy and motivation, please, Nina. I'm in packing dystopia. Ooh. I love a dystopia, me. Would you rather... 1984 dystopia or Handmaid's Tale dystopia. Is there any banana bread? Yeah. <laughs> Delightful. Would you bring it over? Thanks. How come you've not touched your cake? Oh, Nina gave me one earlier. Bit caked out. Thanks, though. Yeah, whatever. Obviously, it's not your only present. I'm just waiting for the right time to surprise you. You tell me when you're good, and I promise you, it'll be your favourite. Yeah, well, I've not got much competition. Uh, Dad got me a sign, and Mary got me a Ben Shepherd calendar. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I did like this. Yeah, I was wondering what that is. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, if you've got four legs and you're like sniffing your mate's crotch, look, you don't want to be mistaken for a dog, do you? I hate dogs. Yeah, doggy, doggy. Go on, doggy. Go on. Yeah, I'll take it off. Look, I swear to you, I've got something much better. Can we help you, Beaky? Do you want me to? Or... Yeah. 
fits us. So I've got to head off for maths. Are you going to come too, or am I going to have to wait until later to see you again? I'll just get this box up. I'll catch you later. Okay. Yeah? That young lad, is he your, um... Why? No reason. No reason at all. He's just, um... I don't know if this is my place to say, but if I don't say anything... Hey, can you just leave me alone? Everything all right? Not really. He just doesn't seem like he's being very kind. Who? Well, perhaps I'm getting the wrong end of the stick. Yeah. Yeah, I think you are. That's where our relationship works. Just bants. He didn't make you take off that choker, though, did he? I literally don't even know what she's saying now. Where is it? Your choker. It was just annoying me a little bit. Right. It wasn't annoying you earlier. Sorry. I'm not upset about the joke. Uh, just need to know you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry if I've upset you. You haven't. Perhaps I'm a little oversensitive to controlling behavior. Or maybe you're more attuned to it. It's only that when Jeff and I were together, I questioned everything. Everything I did and said. Never what he did and said. Sometimes it's useful to step outside yourself, be your own protector. Would you allow your child, your sister, your friend to take what you're taking? That's all. I'm sorry. It is none of my business. No. No, it is. Look, you, you're right to say it. Thank you. It's not the first time he's put you down, is it? Well, no, but it doesn't mean anything by it. Look, you know what lads are like. Insecure and threatened by women. A lot of boys are brought up being told that they're the best and that they're expected to know the answers to everything. When did you... Hey, Corey say he didn't know the answer to something. I don't know. Whereas you say it all the time. Right. Boys like Corey grow up having the success measured, being told that they have to be the strongest, fastest, nicest looking with the most girls, and they don't like it when that's thrown by women. Yeah. Carve your own path, and if someone doesn't like it, tell them to do one. Thank you. And happy birthday again. It's upstairs. No. Come on, I want to give you a birthday present. Well, my dad and my brother will be back anytime soon, so. Fine. <coughs> I see you've put that stupid dog collar back on. Yeah. Why? Because I like it. Like I said before, I don't want people saying I'm going out with a dog. We'll just ignore everyone else. We'll have our own path. Who have you come as? No one. Me. God, look at that thing. Doesn't suit you. It looks stupid. It doesn't. I'm the one who has to look at it. Well, no one's making you. <laughs> hey? You don't have to look at it if you don't want to. What are you saying? That's right. Women can be so touchy. I don't know what your problem is. I thought you agreed with me about that stupid thing. Yeah, well, now I've had time to think about it, I've realised it's not up to you what I wear. To me what you wear? Well, so you're saying that it doesn't matter to you what I think? That I can't have an opinion? Not about what I wear, no. <laughs> you really don't care about me, do you? Of course I do. Well, prove it then and take it off. No! Like, if you liked me, you'd like me for what I think and what I do. And that includes what I choose to wear. All right. That's how you're going to play it. Maybe we should end it. Over this? Yes. 
Right. Well, if it's that important to you, then maybe we should end it. If that's what you want. Of course it's not what I want. Well, then take it off, say sorry, and we can forget about it. No. Fair enough. Dulhania, le jayenge. A what, what, what? DDLJ. It's a classic of Indian cinema. Can't we watch Avengers Endgame instead? No, because it's not a classic of Indian cinema. I bet more people have watched Endgame than that. Adi, you are being obtuse. Does that mean I'm right? No, that means you're being brainwashed by Hollywood candy floss. But now, my son, it is time for you to be immersed in the beauty, the majesty of Bollywood. I'm dead. I'm literally dead. You have killed your son on his birthday. Honey, this was your mother's favorite film. Are you sure it wasn't Titanic? No, that was her other favorite, but this, this was a Perla number one no sabse zada fata fat favorite. Are you high? Mm -hmm. Oh, and here she is, my beautiful baby girl. Hiya. Your necklace? Uh, it's a choker. Yeah, I got it from Nina as a present. It's very nice. Now listen, I know you've probably got like a million exciting and funky things to do on your birthday, unlike your brother. Sorry, unlike your sad sack loser of a brother here. You're not funny, you know. I'm kidding. But we are just about to watch your mum's favourite film, if you'd care to join us. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, I would. You would? Yeah. <laughs> well, excellent. Adi, better make some space for your sister. Actually, Adi, go and make us some popcorn, please. Happy birthday to you.